Hello everyone. These days AI agents are super useful for handling tasks, but they often rely on the LLMs that don't have the latest information. And that's where the RAG search comes in. Using the RAG, which is Retrieval Augmented Generation, these agents can search through your private data and provide you the latest response from your data instead of the outdated information. However, the best part is using the Azure AI agent service, you don't even have to manage the backend infrastructure like the Azure AI search service, the embedding model or the storage account. It will all be managed by Microsoft itself. So you just have to upload the file and get the answers instantly. In the backend, chunking of the data, vectorization, everything will be taken care by Microsoft. So now the agent setup can be done in two ways for the search service in Azure AI agent. One is the basic agent setup, another one is the standard agent setup. In the case of the basic agent setup, as I've already mentioned, you don't have to manage the underlying infrastructure. But the problem is there are some drawbacks that the data which will be uploaded into this Microsoft managed storage account, it will stay there only for seven days. But if you want to keep searching the previous data, which is already uploaded, in that case, you need a standard agent setup where you will create your own AI search service, then create the embedding model and connect with your Azure AI Foundry project and then create a storage account too. And all your files and your data will be saved in that storage account. So now it completely depends on the use case. If you want all the data which is uploaded to stay there so that you can search it anytime, then in that case, you need a standard agent setup. However, if you have a use case where you just need the information or the agent should run on latest document which is uploaded, in that case, you just need a basic setup. And using the basic setup, you don't have to manage anything. So in this video, I'll show how to create an AI agent with the RAG search using Azure AI agent service. So let's start. I'm logged into Azure portal now. And we'll start with the creation of Azure AI Foundry Hub. Let's go to Azure AI Foundry. So we'll create the hub first and then the project. I'll create a new resource group, RG Hub. And we, I'm going to use West US. And, and the reason is because Azure AI agent service is not available in all the regions. So I'll just quickly show you. So these are the only regions where it's available and only the specific models are available here. So I'll be using West US and GPT-40. So region is West US, Shalander Hub 01. It will connect the Azure AI services to. It will create a storage account and the key vault where the credentials will be saved. So I'll use default public access. Identity will be system assigned managed identity, but it will use the credential based access for the storage account. Review and create and create. So now four resources will be deployed. One is hub. Another one is the connection with the AI services. Third one is the storage account. And the last one is the key vault where the credentials of the storage account will be saved. So I'll pause the video and we'll be back once this deployment is done. Resources are deployed now, as you can see the four resources here. So let's go to Azure AI Hub. And from there, let's launch Azure AI Foundry. Now, as soon as you enter the Azure AI Foundry, you have to first create the project and you can provide any name, but I'll use the default name. So let's create the project here. I am into project now. And there is Azure OpenAI Endpoint 2. And this is the project connection string which we'll use in our code. So now we have to deploy the model which is supported by Azure AI Agent Service. And the easy way is go to the playgrounds and to the assistants because Azure AI Agent uses the assistant in the background. So when you will create the deployment for the assistant, it will only show the models which are supported. So if you'll click on new deployment, you can see only the four models are supported GPT-40, 40 mini, 4 and 3.5. But here I'll deploy GPT-40 in West US. Perfect, it's available. And let's provide 100k around. 
and the model is deployed. So now we are ready with our LLM. If we'll go here in the models, you can see GPT-40 model. Now let's go to VS Code where I've already created the files. So I'm in VS Code and I have uploaded all these files in the GitHub. You, you can find the link of the GitHub in the description of this video. So let's start. So we are importing operating system. So this is available by default with the PowerShell. Azure AI project. So that means we need to install this and then Azure identity so that we can make changes into Azure services and the .env so that we can load the environment variables from .env file. So let's install this first, open the terminal. And when you're running Python, the first rule is always create a virtual environment so that dependencies clash doesn't happen. So Python hyphen M virtual environment. You can use Conda also, but this is quick and easy. And you can see there is one folder created virtual environment where if you go to the scripts, there is an activate. This is what we have to do. Activate the virtual environment. So V E N V scripts activate and virtual environment is activated. So pip install instead of the dot, we have to use hyphen Azure AI projects, Azure identity and python.env. So let's install this. All the packages and the dependencies will be installed using these commands. So now it's installing the required packages and dependencies and perfect. It's installed successfully. And now the next step, you can see the next step is to load the environment variable. It will load the environment variable. It's quick and easy. And another one is because we are connecting to the project. So we need to provide project connection string. And for that, we need the environment variable. So let's create dot env file is equal to and get the value from here. Go to the overview of the project and the connection string. Save it here and done. Now the connection string is provided. So now all the steps will be performed using the project client. First, what we are doing is uploading a file. So we are uploading a file. I have uploaded one file leave policy PDF. This is the name and this file will be uploaded here. Chunking, embedding and vectorization. Everything will be taken care here. It will create the vector store here using the name my vector store. You can give any name and then a file search tool will be ready. And using this file search tool, we have to use our model. We have used the GPT-40 model. You can name anything for the agent. And we have written that you are a helpful agent which only provide answer from the search itself. So first the agent will be created. Then a thread using where the communication will happen for the messages between the user and the agent. And then the messages. And finally, we are deleting the vector store. So so the file which will be uploaded into Microsoft Manage Storage Account and Microsoft Manage AI Search, everything will be deleted. If we'll not use this option, then the file will stay there. However, you can see the attachments is empty here, but if we'll provide the attachments, then there is a default value of seven days, though you can change it always, but this is managed by Microsoft. So, so in this use case, we don't require uh, the files after the agent is run. So we'll just delete the vector store, delete the agent and then retrieve the messages. And here I've just sorted out the messages so that they look clean when we ask them. So let's ask something from the leave policy document. So let's open this document, reveal in file explorer and leave policy. So how is unpaid maternity leave calculated? So let's ask this. How is unpaid maternity leaves calculated? So let's save this, then it will run and provide us the messages. So let's run this file. 
python and the name of the file agent1.py so first it should upload the file let's see the file size is little big so that's the reason it's taking time so the file is uploaded and then the vector store is created the agent is created then the threads and the messages and finally we'll reveal those messages and you can see the agent store is deleted and the agent itself so the store is deleted that means the file is removed from the microsoft managed storage account oh what did i type how much i don't know what did i type but how is unpaid maternity leave calculated maternity leave policy pregnant women are eligible 14 weeks that's perfect it found the answer and it provides the index where it found the answer so that's good so it provided the information from the search itself so let's ask something else too because uh, i didn't write the question properly so let's ask what is excess annual leave what is excess annual leave save this run it again and it'll upload the file it's taking time because the file size is a little big but it'll upload the file then create all the threads and everything and then do the vectorization and thread and messages so perfect create vector search agent thread messages and it's running now deleted so 40 days perfect this is what we were looking for and it's a perfect answer now you would have noticed that we have uploaded the file in the start itself however when the agent was running thread was created what if we want to upload the file as a attachment or as a message so in that case we can upload the file as an attachment too now here we uploaded the file during the connection with the project itself so that means it becomes a part of the project now just take an example if we are creating a multi agent workflow where first agent is asking question but providing some output also in the form of a file or something and this agent wants to get that file during the messages as an attachment and then provide answers to that in that case we need an attachment also but if you'll we'll see here when we ask question we provided the attachment as empty but now in the agent 2 it's very easy same thing everything same till here till we create the thread then after the thread creation we upload the file news.pdf we are uploading the file as a message and add it as an attachment when we ask the question all the vectorization will happen during this time and by default the expiration of this file is 7 days though you can change it and then it will run and when we ask the question our llm has to search both the files so the the vectorization which is done on both the files they will go through it and then provide the answers so let's check this let's open this file news.pdf so it's an artificial intelligence uh, documentation so fix it let's go to any random page so what is reinforcement learning so let's copy this what is reinforcement learning and now i want to ask the question so that it checks the other file also we want to know when we add an attachment whether it's just checking one file or both the files so let's quickly copy the question from here and save now let's run the agent2 file python agent2 first it should upload one file then create a thread messages and during that time it should upload another file also and then do the vectorization and finally provide the answers so the file is uploaded now it should create an agent 
so vector store first yes then agent then thread now it should upload another file that's why it's taking a little bit of time uploaded file created message and it should run and provide us the answers perfect it ran and now the answer so what is reinforcement learning it's a feedback learning so it got it from here it provided the source so it's not showing here properly otherwise we can format it and then it will show and perfect it's providing that 40 day information also access and relief so we are getting the information from both the files whether it's an attachment or it's part of the project connection so that means so now if we want to do the basic agent setup we don't even have to manage the underlying infrastructure so it's super easy you just create your llm and rest of the things will be managed by microsoft ai agent service which is very convenient based on the use case so that's all i wanted to show in this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much